Hey guys, so today is my birthday, March 19th, and I got something special in the mail. I got the limited Sketchbox edition Sketchbox box. Um, and I haven't opened it yet. I was super tempted to do so in the car, but I didn't because I wanted to share it with you guys. So this is their special edition box, which should mean I get special edition things. Oh, good. So, um... I've seen people post these from their premium boxes, and I wanted to get my hold my hands on them because you guys know I review alcohol markers. So that's exciting. Also got the Lyra color stripe and some stuff my cat's gonna eat and vomit up. So let's take a look at what came in my box. First off, there isn't any art in the box. Like with other boxes, there's just art on the box and the card is pretty cut and dry it says welcome to our first limited edition sketch box this box is all about obtaining premium items that are becoming harder and harder to find in art stores inside the box you'll find a full set of lira color stripe color pencils these colors bleh, these pencils are some of the finest color pencils in the world with an ergonomic triangular shape and a larger than usual rectangular lead that's visible along the full length of one of the pencil's three sides color stripes unique design gives artists the ability to draw fine lines and cover large areas with ease a set of eight pencils typically retails for $35 and are very rare to um, and are very rare to find in local art supply stores. We've also included a Montana acrylic paint pen that was an artist's favorite from back in November. These acrylic pens are some of the highest quality available and allow you to get really precise with acrylic paint. Also included is a Copic multiliner brush pen. Um, Copic consistently makes some of the highest quality art tools available. Copic has unfortunately discontinued it and it will be hard to locate in stores. We also included a Sakura Koi water brush. These are great for watercolor filled with ink or liquid acrylic. Finally, we included one of our newly improved Sketchbox 2.0 markers. We listened to your feedback and produced an even higher quality illustration marker. Okay, so the point is not so much expensive supplies, but hard to find is supplies, which is always interesting to me. And um, I think I don't, other than this, which came in last month's box, and I'm not super sure why they included it, not, not last month, February Sketchbox, not super sure why they included it. All of these are things that I don't own a copy of. I might own things similar to, but I don't own them. So this is the Lyra color stripe. The back of the box says that it has innovative design. Um, and that's about, okay, there we go. Continuously visible, extra break proof lead, three-sided ergonomic shape, solid coloring black wood for drawing fine lines and covering large areas, top quality lead, waterproof, and comes with a sharpener, which is good because it sounded like these pencils were kind of annoying to sharpen so these look they look really cool it doesn't necessarily mean they perform really cool the sharpener seems a little bit sharp shorter than normal pencil sharpeners but not necessarily um particularly unique or well made and the pencils are very lightweight actually and the black pencils it's a little bit hard to see where the lead is and where the wood is although it's very obvious with the other pencils also have one of the multi-liner brush markers in sky blue um, I own a couple of the multi-liner pins I don't think I own um, other than sepia a maroon color and uh, gray I don't think I own any interesting colors so this is neat I do own um, Sakura's Pigma brush, a couple of brushes like this though. In fact, I have one right here in pink. And I'm excited about this because I've been wanting to get my hands on them. I wish they'd sent more of them. Um, they do not have a brush tip. It's a bullet nib and a chisel nib. So um, if any of you guys are willing to donate or allow me to buy off of you your Sketchbox signature markers, I would be interested in that because I need more colors than one to be able to review them. And I have number 31, dark yellow. So if you're interested in um, either sending me one for review purposes or um, me purchasing one off of you, please leave a comment below or send me an email. So I also have the Montana acrylic marker and I have, um, other 
acrylic markers. I have the Liquitex acrylic markers somewhere around here. And um, when I do the demo video, I'll haul them out, as well as some water-based markers that are permanent when sh once dry. So the only thing left is the Koi brush. Um, and I'm not super impressed with these as water brushes. So what I think I might do, oh, this is one of the full-size ones. Okay, these are actually harder to find. Um, but what I think I might do is fill it with an interesting lead and try to use it for that. So that's about it guys. That's my overview of the limited sketch box edition. Um, I'm excited to see what their future sketch box limited edition boxes contain. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you found this video interesting or informative or inspiring. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing to my channel, and if you'd like to help fund more content like this, please check out my Patreon. Have a great day guys. Bye.